I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on the canine transmitter done by Martin System. Okay, it comes with four stimulation buttons, two on the left and two on the right. It also has a selector switch and a colour uh, screen and it has a, dial, a, a large uh, dial and it has a small antenna. It's waterproof and shockproof. You turn it on and off by pressing any of the buttons and this is the selector switch which moves between the four buttons by pressing and releasing. That's the transmitter. It also has a magnet inside the transmitter in the bottom left hand corner, right about there. Really excellent um, bit of kit, big improvement on the PT3000 in my eyes. Um, the range is a little less than the PT3000. I think we've started to lose range occasionally at around three to 400 meters. Um, obviously depending on terrain, but still ample for the average person like who needs more than 300 metres. Um, big plus is waterproof and, and shockproof. Big plus is the colour screen, much easier to use especially in low light or, or, or bright sunlight where with PT3000 the screen is very hard to see in bright light, um, so this is really a big, big, big improvement. One of the um, the costs of this screen, though, is the battery life is much less than it used to be. But again, massive benefit on this. It's rechargeable, whereas the PT3000 needed a battery. And the PT3000 lost power with no warning. So one minute it's working, next minute it's not really functioning properly. Whereas this, you have an icon which tells you the battery life, so you can tell when it's getting low on battery and you can recharge it. Massive improvement as well, uh, induction charging available on this. You can also plug it into a normal um, charger with a micro, um, but it's got induction charging. Just throw it on the induction plate and she's good to go. So really, really, really good bit of kit. It tells you now what mode you're in here with words. It still has the, um, the little symbols representing each mode, but it now tells you. so. You don't even need to know the symbols. It also tells you what level the particular stimulation button you're on is set to. Here, we're using this stimulation button, which is um, denoted by that little symbol there, that little dash there, that white dash. It also tells you the battery life now, which is one of the things the PT3000 didn't do. To move between the, the stimulation buttons, you press and release the selector switch, like this. And note, you can have all the stimulation buttons set to a different mode and a different setting. You won't find many e-collars that can do that. To move between modes, press and hold the selector switch like this. When you reach the mode you want, release the selector switch. Available modes include continuous, denoted by the single line and also obviously the word continuous. Continuous when using this mode, it'll apply stim when you press and hold the stimulation button. It'll go for 10 seconds before the safety cuts that off. The next mode is continuous plus tone. That'll apply the stim plus tone when you press and hold the button. On the transmitter, can, when it arrives, the tone and the vibrate will be, pa will be um, paired, but you can separate those using the app. The next mode is flash. The word flash and this little 
ziggly line. This mode, when you press and hold the stimulation button, it will only apply stim for a moment and then turn off. The stim is no longer working even though I'm holding the button on. Next mode, flash with tone. Again, this is applying a nick if I hold it on and the tone will, will activate as well. But the stim will only activate for a moment. The next mode is rising stim. We can set the level the, the rising stim will start at simply by turning the, the dial knob and then we press and hold the stimulation button and the level will rise like this. And this one, have we have used the, um, the app to stop the rising tone from getting any further than level four. But we can change that to any level we want using the app. The next mode is rising with uh, tone. It'll simply do the same function, but with the tone also going to the receiver. The next mode is decreasing. The tone will decrease the longer you hold the stimulation button and we can set the level it starts at. So here we've set five and decreasing is denoted by the decreasing um, icon here and the word decreasing. And using the app, you can set what level it'll stop decreasing to. The default settings are that will decrease to zero, and the default setting for rising is it'll rise to the highest level. And decreasing with tone. Does the same function, but sends the tone or tells the receiver to turn the tone on as well. The next function is warning tone. It'll send a brief tone to the receiver and then the stimulation will be applied on a continuous function at the level denoted by the number in the screen. 